guys who come on your own again. It's your man, man. God knows. I cannot say it's your boy, boy. Like, it's wrong. Like, I feel like I'm undermining myself. I can't do that. I cannot do that. Like, go wrong. But either way, guys, we're not about that fresh. Today, we're going, of course, I'm a mess with the guys. So, we're going to be doing our pencils. Technically, it's that a hangling, but we're going to be doing our pencils. I don't want to teach I'm a media and I'm a most to you guys. You guys, you know this. You know this. If you don't, please go back to class 7 and we'll talk there. But either way, for the time being, since I'm talking to our uh, matriculants, we're doing our quintiles, guys. And then also, I know my quintiles are some things that you need to know. First and first, keywords. Keywords. We have keywords on, on that, which is inside our articles, is inside quintile range, which is technically range. And then we have quintiles. How many of those do we have? Three. I expect you to know that. Seriously. We have three of them. So now, first things first, right? The first thing that you guys need to know, we have our quintiles. How many of them do, how many of them do we have? We have three. How do we obtain them? First things first. Remember, it's data handling. So that means, in most of the time, we're going to be provided in a form of marks, uh, prices of cars, whatever it's going to be. It's data handling. So that means, first things first, let's just say we're given a certain number of, ah, let's see that, six, save any, another seven, eight, twenty, ah, and twenty-four, right? First things first, we're given this. So now the thing that we need to obtain, we need to obtain any armor quantiles by three of them. Now the first thing that you guys need to know, when we do armor quantiles, we will start with the first one. We start with the second. The second one is the one that determines the first one and also the third. Remember, by means of that, that means this is going to be divided into four. Right? It's going to be divided into four, not two, but four. So the first thing that we're going to do, we need to find first find the median. I cannot call it a Q2 now, I need to say the median. So, what you can do on board with me. So, it's going to be a median. First and first, how many numbers do we have? Two, four, six, seven. So, which is quite easy for us to obtain a median. Our median, of course, is our fourth number. So, which one is like one, two, three, four? It's our seven. This is our Q3. It's our Q2, man. Number one. Which is quantile one. Take uh, quantile two. It's Q2. Let's keep it simple. And then, then now we need to look for a more quantile, the second one. From here, which is going to be right there. That's our second one right there, which is our Q3, our Q1 right there. Then also, this will be our Q3. So then, was that hard, guys? Was that hard? And then, after that, from this particular point, you also need to know one thing there's something called interquantile range, i.e., QR. That means, on another note, remember, when we're talking about range, right? When we're talking about range, we take the biggest number. That B is going to represent the biggest number minus the smallest. So technically, in other terms, if we had to look for a range in this particular one, it was going to be this one, it's going to be this one, minus this one. But then since we're doing interquantile range, it's a different approach. Interquantile range, we're not doing it in this particular order. First of all, okay guys, keep this in our uh, articles, just keep this in mind. It's going to come in, uh, in right about in a few, let me just write it off there. Now, this is how it goes, first of all. We're doing what? Interquantile range. And the formula for interquantile range is what? It's Q3. Ah, oh, crap. Oh. It's Q3 minus Q1. That means in other terms, we change that. We're no longer focusing on this. Remember, we're doing quantiles. Right? So it's Q3 minus Q1. First of all, what's our Q3? Our Q3 is 20. Minus 6, which is our Q1. And then we get our answer. And then you'll say that I um, and looks in, I'm going to pay it. This is a plug right there. And of course, it's your man, man, and thank you again. <laughs>